Britain has many preserved steam locomotives and there will be plenty of steam in the future. But unfortunately, not all of the locomotives made it into preservation. Some were either replaced with newer locomotives or simply scrapped altogether and forgotten about. From small tank engines to large express engines, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 extinct British steam locomotives. Number 10. The London, Brighton and South Coast Railway H2 Class Atlantics The London, Brighton and South Coast Railway H2 Class was a class of 442 steam locomotives for express passenger work. They were designed when D.E. Marsh was officially locomotive superintendent and were built at Brighton Works in 1911 and 1912. Amazingly, only six of the class was built between 1911 and 1912, so a very rare class, but they performed excellently on expresses along the southern region. The first withdrawal came in 1949, which was one of the class, but the remainder continued in regular use until 1956, until the last of the class was withdrawn in April 1958 and eventually scrapped. Unfortunately, none of the examples of the H2 class were preserved, but on the 29th of October 2000, the Bluebell Railway announced its intention to reconstruct a Brighton H2 Atlantic using parts from the Great Northern Railway Atlantic and the LB and SCR B4 Atlantic. The project is not yet complete and the announcement of its completion is not yet being announced to the public but soon in the future we will have a H2 Atlantic back on the rails again. Number 9 The Great Western Railway 4700 Class 280 Night Owls the Great Western Railway 4700 class was a class of nine 280 steam locomotives designed by George Jackson Churchwood. They were introduced in 1919 for heavy mixed traffic work. Although primarily designed for fast freight, the class also sometimes hauled passenger trains, notably heavy holiday expresses, in the summer months. Withdrawal of the class began in June 1962 with number 4702 while the last were removed from service in May 1964. As a result of their limited usefulness, the mileage is achieved by the class were not great. Unfortunately, none of the members of the class were preserved. However, the Great Western Society of Didcot made the decision to create the next locomotive in the sequence, number 4709, supported via a GWS subgroup. It is being built using a mixture of new parts and others recycled from former Barry Scrapyard locomotives, which includes a GWR 5101 class, a GWR 2800 class and a GWR 5205 class. The locomotive is nearing completion, but it's not yet complete, but soon in another year's time we will be able to see a new locomotive running on the rails again and join the other Great Western Railway locomotives, such as the castles, the halls, the manors and the panniers. Number 8 The London, Brighton and South Coast Railway E2 Tank Engine 060 You probably recognise this locomotive, don't you? Yes, this was the base design locomotive for Thomas the Tank Engine, where we all grew up to love our love affair of steam. The London, Brighton and South Coast Railway E2 class was a class of 060T steam locomotives designed by Lawson Billiton in 1911 and 1912. 
intended for shunting and short distance freight trains, 10 examples were built between 1913 and 1960. These locomotives were mostly used at the docks of Southampton to help with heavy goods trains and goods and fish of all exports from all over the world to help shunt the wagons in place for trains across Britain to pick the wagons up. Later on in their life, the E-2s would be replaced with the more successful USA dock tank, which was originally built for way better use than the E-2. Unfortunately, none of the class were preserved, but there is still hope around Thomas the Tank Engine to keep the special locomotive alive, such as the example used on Day Out with Thomas events. No, it's not an E2, but it is Thomas the Tank Engine, so we will still have the same locomotive working around our lives, just to remember how successful the E2s were. Number 7 The British Railway Standard Class 6462 the Standard Class 6, otherwise known as the Clan Class, was a class of 462 Pacific Tender Steam Locomotive designed by Robert Riddles for use by British Railways. Ten locomotives were constructed between 1951 and 1952, with a further 15 planned for construction. However, due to acute steel shortages in Britain, the order was continually postponed until it was finally cancelled on the publication of the 1955 Modernisation Plan for the re-equipment of British Railways. The Clan class was based upon the Britannia class design, incorporating a smaller boiler and various weight-saving measures to increase the route availability of a Pacific-type locomotive for its intended area of operations, the west of Scotland. Some of the Clan class locomotives took their names from Highland Railway Clan class, which was being withdrawn from service at the time, indicating further their intended area of operations. The class was ultimately deemed a failure by British Railways, and the last was withdrawn in 1966. None survived in preservation, although a project to build the next locomotive in line, number 72010, Hengist, is progressing. The frame plates are presently at Riley and Son LTD at Berry, awaiting further parts to commence assemble of the frame structure. Number 6 The London Midland and Scottish Railway Patriot Class The Patriot Class was a class of 52 express passenger steam locomotives built for the London Midland and Scottish Railway. The first locomotive of the class was built in 1930 and the last in 1934. All of the Patriot class locomotives were withdrawn from service by 1965. The class was based on the chassis of the Royal Scot, combined with the boiler from large Crontons, earning them the nickname Baby Scots. Although no Patriot or either rebuilt or unrebuilt form survived into preservation, a new Patriot is under construction at the Langothlan Railway. The LMS Patriot Project, a registered charity, is appealing for donations or regular contributions to build the new three-cylinder Fowler-designed parallel boiler 460 Express Passenger Loco. It will carry the number of the last built LMS number 5551 or British Railways number 45551. After a public poll, the new Patriot locomotive will be named the Unknown Warrior, those tomb is located in Westminster Abbey. Number 5 The Great Western Railway 1000 Class 
the Great Western Railway 1000 class, or better known as the County class, was a class of 460 steam locomotive. 30 examples were built between 1945 and 1947. The counties had a mixed reception. Some traditionalists regarded them as non-standard expensive and unnecessary. Others considered them a successful free steaming design well suited to express or freight work and a fitted, fitting fin finale to GWR two-cylinder 460 development but all were withdrawn and scrapped in the 1960s. No examples were preserved but a replica locomotive is under construction. Number 4 The London and North Eastern Railway Class P2 The London and North Eastern Railway Class P2 was a class of 282 steam locomotives designed by Sir Nigel Gresley for working heavy express trains over the harsh Edinburgh to Aberdeen line. As they were to serve on the Scottish Expresses, they were given famous names from the Scottish law. Six locomotives of the class were built, introduced between 1934 and 1936. Between 1943 and 1944, the class were rebuilt under Gresley's successor, Edward Thompson, into the LNER Thompson Class A2-2-462 type. In 2010, the A1 Steam Locomotive Trust, who were responsible for the construction of 60163 Tornado, announced plans to hold a feasibility study into building a new P2 class locomotive, which will be numbered as 2007 and named Prince of Wales. One of the people to help with the project is former TV presenter James May, who is very famous for being in Top Gear, as well as James May's Big Ideas series and many documentaries on British television. The locomotive's completion date is not yet known, but it will probably be around 2018, depending on how long it takes for the locomotive. Now, when this locomotive gets into preservation, it will be Britain's largest preserved steam locomotive in working order and will definitely give the A4s a good running for their money. Number 3 The London Middleton Scottish Railway Turbo Motive probably one of the most well-known turbine locomotives. This locomotive was modified from a Princess Royal Class steam locomotive designed by Sir William Stanier and built by the London Middleton Scottish Railway in 1935. It used turbines instead of cylinders. The forward turbine had 18 rows of blading. Output was 2,400 horsepower at 7,060 rpm corresponding to running at 62 miles an hour. Boiler pressure was 250 psi. The turbine was designed to operate into a maximum back pressure of 2 psi allowing a conventional double blast pipe to provide the boiler drought and eliminating drought fans which also seemed to give a disappointment amount of trouble. The reverse turbine had four rows of blades. It was engaged by a dog clutch activated when the reverse lever was set to zero. This was originally steam operated by a small piston and cylinder. Unfortunately, the turbo motive was no longer looked into in Britain and the locomotive was later rebuilt into a steam locomotive, number 46202, Princess Anne. Number 2 The Midland Railway 010 Licky Banker you should have known this one was coming, the famed Licky Incline Banker, used to help trains up the famous Licky Incline. 
In 1919, the Midland Railway built a single 010 steam locomotive, number 2290, later LMS 1947, 22290, and then BR 58100. It was designed by James Anderson for banking duties on the Licky Incline in Worcestershire, south of Birmingham, England. It became known as Big Bertha, or Big Emma, of railwaymen and railway enthusiasts. Unfortunately, this was only one of the locomotives to be built. Just one, a very rare class. The engine was withdrawn in 1956 and scrapped later that year and it was replaced by a British Railway Standard Class 9F, number 92079, which acquired Big Bertha's electric headlight for the duty. This locomotive is now gone, disappeared, but it will, it will always be remembered as Britain's most powerful steam locomotive. Before we move on to number one, here is some honourable mentions. Number one, the Caledonian Railway 721 class. The Caledonian Railway 721 class, known as the Dunnell Astaire class, was a class of 440 steam locomotives designed by John F. McIntosh for the Caledonian Railway and introduced in 1896. All survived to be absorbed by the London Midland and Scottish Railway in 1923, and a few survived into British Railways ownership in 1948. The Dunnell class were very successful and developed into four different versions the 721 class, the 766 class, the 900 class, and the 140 class. The rebuilding with cylinders was accompanied by a reduction in boiler pressure and increase in cylinder diameter. There are two further classes of McIntosh 2440 locomotives, which some authors included in the Dallas Stair series. These are the 139 class and the 43 class. The first Daryl Lester to be withdrawn from service, other than for accident damage, was 14343 in 1933. The reason for its withdrawal is unclear. The next withdrawal was not until 1937. By 1944, only five members of the 900 class remained. The last 900 class survivor received the British Railways number 5443. And was based at Aviemore until it was withdrawn in 1948. All of them were scrapped, and the locomotive went into the legend book of history. Because this locomotive is very rare and there's very few points of its existence apart from a small model at a museum and a few images, this is why it gets the number one spot on this top 10 extinct British steam locomotives. Thanks for watching this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and a favourite, as well as subscribing to my channel for more content like this. And with that, I would like to say farewell to you fellow train fans, and keep on steaming. Goodbye!